All right, welcome back. Sports show on YouTube. We got a cool one here. Michael Jordan against Scottie Pippen. The two longtime teammates and now rival. Now that their playing days are over, that's a whole nother thing going on right there that we won't even touch on between Jordan and Pippen. But Jordan obviously over there in Washington. Pippen on Portland. During the 02 to 03 season, Jordan's still putting up numbers here. 20 points per game, 1.5 steals, 6.1 rebounds, and 3.8 assists. Not bad as what would be Michael Jordan's last season in the NBA during the 02-03 season. The other side, Pippen, 10.8 points per game, 4.5 assists, 4.3 rebounds, so doing it kind of all around the board too. Portland would go 49-33, and make the playoffs, but get bounced by the LA Lakers. Washington, 37-45, and would miss the playoffs, but... This is kind of, you know, they're older in this this game going head-to-head -head here, but still going to be pretty cool to actually see them match up in a couple of one-on-one -on -one plays. So let's run it. December 2002, Michael Jordan against Scottie Pippen. Washington against Portland. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Let's go. Total of 600, or rather 961 regular season games together. And, of course, a bevy of playoff games, and they won six NBA titles together. Well, yeah, you know, they were so, any championship team has to be strong defensively, and those two led the way. They were so disruptive defensively, creating turnovers and forcing bad shots. Uh, Pippen has yet to walk out onto the court, and here he comes right now. And uh, let's see what kind of greeting he and Michael have. Not much. Just a tap of the fist. Well, you know, uh, they had their last game was Sunday, so they were in here yesterday probably. So there's a chance, good chance that the two of them exchanged pleasantries uh, before the game. Another alley-oop. Wallace, and he slams it in. We've seen two transition baskets given up by Washington. That means a seven lost four here at home. Driving on Wells, gets bumped, and Michael will shoot two. 59 of 81 from the line. Gets the first. Getting his sixth consecutive start tonight and makes them both. 69 the game before that. Bad pass, Hughes with the intercept. Hughes underneath Michael, waited a little bit too long, and the Wizards turn it back over. Haywood turned around and got fouled. It's on Scottie Pippen, and let's send it over to George Johnson. Basketball team. Last year, when you looked at the perimeter, he was forced to use guys like Teron Liu and even Chris Whitney. Pippen draws a foul, and it'll be on Brendan Haywood. That's his first. See the beauty of one. Last year, Scottie scored the 18,000th point of his career. I got it, it Let's start this game with Jordan's two free throws. Leitner's hey. jumper got that and they find Leitner in the same spot and this one's a little strong. Gets his own rebound but knocked away from behind by Wallace. Pippen. So here as you saw tonight, Mo Cheeks number three. Hughes again, this one's strong, and another Portland rebound. Here comes Pippen, gliding down the right side, knocked away by Leitner. And out of bounds, Pippen wanted a foul. Scotty, 37 years old, of course, Jordan, 39. 1977-78, 25 seasons ago with Dick Mata at the helm. You didn't seem that curious, really. <laughs> Wallace from long range, inside position, Pippen gets the rebound. Great pass underneath, reverse layup, no good. Well, Scotty Pippen played eight minutes, Jordan played nine minutes. As the two get back together for the first time ever. Pippen with six points, MJ with four. Jordan baseline thought about it against Sabonis, now goes to Haywood, and he gets fouled, MJ off the glass, six points for Jordan, Stoudemire from long range, Jordan on the pass is fouled, Jordan leads the break, 
Now pops from long range and got it. Two-point field goal for Michael Jordan. And he has eight points in the game. Well, you can see Jordan talking to his teammates. Jordan is a starter playing in 36 and a half minutes a game. Fires one up. Missed it at the buzzer. And they're going to say it did not hit the rim. Now he goes to Hugh Hollins. See if you can spot it. They know that shot clock winding down. There you see it. One second. Boy, it looks like it hit something there. Sure does. Stop to change direction. Oh, maybe that's it. Somebody got a hand on it. And the steal. Jordan and the Wizards run four on one. Kwame. Nice pass from Larry, but Jordan made it all possible, tightening up the defense. He was the one that created the turnover. Jordan got it. Two-point field goal. Tipping, spinning, lays it off the glass and in. Well, Larry went for that fake, got out of position. That opened up a clear path to the basket. And he knocks the ball away. Tipping around everybody and scores. Hughes drives off the glass, no good. Pippen's jumper got it. Stackhouse jumper. MJ back in and he's got it. Block. Oh, block. Nice block. Kwame Brown coming in there, putting a hand up against my guy, Rasheed Wallace. Good play right there. Patterson around Jordan. MJ blocks it. Getting that uh, shot at the buzzer. Trailblazers have matched their largest lead, 18 points. MJ and Scottie Pippen hooking up. You see right there, they were kind of had their one-on-one -on -one thing going. It looked like Pippen really wanted to turn his defense up a notch going against Jordan. Jordan instead deferring and passing it off. But look at Pippen's energy on this one. He definitely wanted a piece of Jordan. MJ and Scottie Pippen hooking up for the first time ever. When I say hooking up, meaning against each other. For Leitner, lays it off for Hughes inside, and he draws a foul. Hughes drives, and that might have been partially blocked. Wallace on the third away, gets the roll. Wallace last year became the fourth player. Pittman underneath, and an easy two. For Anderson, Leitner is free, that's no good. Jordan inside, lays it up and in. 12 points for MJ. Wow. Jordan off the screen. Came on March 24th in 1998 in Portland. Pippen inside, easy two. Once he goes for the shot, now you have a two-on-one. Pippen breaks to the basket and gets a nice pass. Back house and looking for the roll, can't get it. And Jordan trying to tie up Pippen, but Scotty calls a timeout and is granted a 20 second timeout by Steve Javi. Brown up off the Wizards bench, that was Washington's first turnover of the quarter. Short. Pippen fell down and lost it. Wizards run five on four. Now four on three, and Jordan scores. Jordan baseline. That's a little short. That's going to be tough to complete, but Pippen wasn't able to handle it, and it goes out of bounds. Good job. Jeff is coming over and making that steal. Rebound and a loose ball foul on Larry Hughes as Pippen had inside position. Oh, talking about the matchup between Jordan and Scotty, both with 14 points and doing other things for their team. Scotty Pippen tonight with 14 points, as was Michael Jordan. And once again, the Wizards fall to 9 and 12 and 7 and 5 overall, and Portland improves to. All right, that was a really cool matchup right there. Obviously, both not in their prime, but 
they showed some skills out there still, especially Jordan. Jordan's mid-range jump shot was on fire. Pippen more the ball handling, able to create, I think it was, what, 14, 4, and 5, I think it said out there for his final stat line. Obviously, after their playing days, all the stuff that went on between the two of them with Pippen's son and Jordan. I mean, I, crazy shit right there. Pippen actually, you know, it's, Isaiah Thomas has dogged him out quite a bit, and obviously we're here in Michigan, so we're Pistons all the damn way. When it comes to that, but Pippen was just a solid, smooth player, man. One of the smoothest jump shots, can handle the ball. Nothing spectacular, but kind of like a poor man's Grand Hill, if you want to ask my opinion. I don't, poor man, I'm not trying to disrespect him. I mean, the guy got six NBA championships. You know, during that season that he took over for Jordan, when he sat out that last play against Kukoc, I think kind of put a little bit of a damper on his legacy. But shit, you can't argue the numbers that Pippen put up. What would he have done without Jordan? What would Jordan done without Pip? And you kind of, kind of had one or the other. Kind of like these two guys right here. Nolan and Liam, you can't have one without the other. Liam's falling down. Let's get his ass up right there. But that was fun stuff, man. Pretty cool matchup there. Scotty Pippen, the only time he squared off against Michael Jordan. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. See ya.